welcome back to the shop. Today I will demonstrate how to build an acrylic barrier. You've seen these things at grocery stores and other businesses. They're basically big plastic shields designed to separate the customer from the people working behind the counter. Acrylic barriers are an excellent resource to curtail the spread of the virus and so I think it's a very useful and appropriate project for us to build during this pandemic. You will need to buy an acrylic sheet from a hardware store but other than that you just need some wood and some screws and some glue and we're good to go. Now the purpose of this video is not to provide very specific details and measurements about the acrylic barrier that I've built. I want to provide information on how I've constructed it, the general idea that I've used, and hopefully it will provide inspiration for you to build your own according to your own context and the size that you need for your own specific use. For this project we're essentially building the bottom half of a frame and raising it with a couple of feet. Thus, there are only three types of parts, the side supports, the bottom support, and the feet. And of course, you'll need the acrylic sheet. The piece I have is an eighth inch thick, but 3 16 or quarter inch might be preferable. I'm working with three quarter inch milled material. This is cherry. The sides basically have to support half the height of the acrylic, otherwise they are three quarter inch by three quarter inch. Once the sides were cut to size, I used the table saw to cut a channel about 5 16 inch in depth. This will hold the acrylic in place. The length of the bottom support should be the width of the acrylic sheet minus half an inch. This makes it so that there is just a little bit of wiggle room between the two sides after installing the acrylic sheet. You'll notice that I put an arch on the bottom of the bottom support. Not only does this add a decorative element, but it's functional because it opens space to pass items underneath the barrier when in use. To attach the sides to the bottom support, I used a floating tenon. This was convenient because I already had the slot for the tenon when I cut the channel in the two sides. I just needed to add the channel to the sides of the bottom support and cut a tenon to join the pieces. The two feet raise the support slightly and adds the necessary stability so that it stands on its own. I cut a three quarter inch recess in each of the feet to match the profile of the bottom support. I attached the feet to the bottom of the barrier with glue and screws. I thought screws would give an additional support. Once you've installed the feet and sanded all the individual pieces, you can apply the finish. The finish I've chosen for this project is boiled linseed oil. Boiled linseed oil is great because it adds a deep richness to the wood and it dries relatively quickly. If you do work with boiled linseed oil, be sure to follow the instructions for a safe and proper disposal. Once the finish is applied, you can slide the acrylic sheet into place and voila, we have an acrylic barrier. This is just one idea that I have for a way that we as woodworkers can promote safety from the projects that we build during this pandemic. I hope it's been instructive or inspiring and I really appreciate you watching the video.